guys welcome back to my channel it's just olivia lewis and today i have a story time for you guys well i had one before but then i was like let me tell this one instead <laughs> and we were just gonna get straight into well wait wait actually actually lips are kind of dry before we get into it i'm gonna need you to click that subscribe button because y'all watching my videos and not subscribe and they hurt my feelings man and also turn on my notification bell so you can get a notification every time I upload a new video so we're just gonna get straight into it you know for some reason my lights look dark hmm oh well all right so by the title you kind of have an idea of what's what's going on but let me just tell you the story let me just <sighs> thinking about it gets me upset okay all right okay we're gonna get we're gonna get straight into it all right so I sell wigs Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I, I'm one of, <laughs> I'm one of those people who, for months I'll be like, I'm selling wigs, I'm selling wigs, like I'm doing my business, and then, I'm just like, eh, not today. I, I can't take clients because sometimes things like this happen to you, and it kind of just bring you down. Anyway, so on this particular day, someone asks for a wig. So I guess it was, I think it was like a, I think it was a body wave. If I'm not, if I'm not wrong, it was like a body wave hair or something like that and we exchange information if you hear something outside just ignore it yeah just just, just ignore that anyway as you we were saying so this particular day someone came there no they didn't come and they, they text me and said hey girl i want one of your wigs they look nice you look like you know what you're doing let me get one of your wigs so i was like all right girl no problem mark you I just have to say this because it's a part of the story. The person, the client, is white, all right? Just keep that in mind that she's white. We're gonna name her, we're gonna name her Karen because she did act like a Karen, so we're gonna do that. So her name is Karen, right? So Karen texts me and says, hey girl, I like your wigs, I like what you're doing, you look like you know what you're doing, let me get one of your wigs. And I was like, all right girl, this is how it goes, deposit, boom, bop, bop, right? wig comes i'm like okay girl come for your wig she's like all right i live like 10 minutes away from you i'm like you know what that's perfect because at the time i was coming from school and my school was in like an, my my college it's in another like town so i didn't want to be like late i hate being late like someone waiting on you and i'm taking the bus so it's not always reliable right so i was like okay since you live 10 minutes like away from where i'm staying what i'll do is i'll give you a time but when i'm on the bus you know almost when i'm almost there i'll give you like an exact time and you can come she's like no problem so she asked me like a bunch of questions about it which is normal and i always tell people it's better you ask the questions now than I sell you the wig and then you do something to it and I'm not taking it back after you cut the lace. So don't, don't like, that's not how I run my business. Like, that's why I love answering questions. I, I will, I will speak to you for weeks before selling you a wig. Like that's, that's okay with me. Right. Okay. Especially someone who probably doesn't know much about it. But anyway, she says, girl, can you cut the lace for me? And I'm like, sure, I can cut the lace for you. But right now I can't invite you to where I'm staying. So I don't feel comfortable cutting the lace without it being on your head because especially especially caucasian hairline you don't necessarily know whatever hairline they have and then you're gonna cut it and then it messes it up and the thing is she says she had someone to install it but the person didn't know how to cut the hairline or something like that but i told her if she still wanted me to do it when she came to the place and you know if if i had time because it was supposed to be around like 6 6 p.m that she was supposed to meet me um and i was going to work the next day so that was like the last day i think the day before that she had scheduled date and then when i went when like when i was waiting for her she she flaked but it's her money so it's not i wasn't pressed about it you know i was like just tell me what when it, like tell me whenever you're gonna be available next and then i'll just make time for that day because i won't be available on the weekend all right so on that day she says okay just tell me when you're here so when i was going up i'm like girl you can come over so she comes she says she's coming over and like half an hour passes all this time passes, and she's not there yet so then she gives some excuse that like she's late or she's being held up or some shit like that 
So I'm like, no problem, but I don't really feel like it's, I don't really feel like it's respectable to come to someone's house after nightfall. Like, I, I, imagine you're trying to eat your dinner, but you're waiting on a client to come interrupt you. You know what I mean? I kind of just feel like, I don't know, I just kind of feel like it's disrespectful. Okay, so as I was saying, so she said like, okay, she's on her way. So at this point, it's like, it's nightfall, but it was like winter time. So it was like, I think, I think it was like around seven o'clock and she says, I'm outside. So I'm like, sure, no problem. So I just grabbed an, like an old bag because like literally, maybe I should, but I don't want to expose myself. But um, to my right here, I have some boxes and I'm a hoarder when it comes to wig boxes, wig bags, all that stuff. Like literally to my right, I have a lot of empty boxes and bags just sitting there like for no apparent reason i have a problem i know so i just grabbed a bag because oh before that she had asked me to take like a lot of pictures for it so it was just laying on the on the thing so i just had the bag i took it out of the box i put it in the bag to give it to her went downstairs i gave it to her she looked at it she's like oh this is nice it's, you know this looks nice i'm like okay girl i turned on the lights so you could see it properly because sometimes i actually had one client who just took the wig and was gonna drive off and i was like ah uh, uh, uh let's look at it together because i'm always careful of people like that sometimes they take the stuff from you because sometimes i sold other things to people and they just take it and leave and then they they complain that something was wrong with it let's look at it together so we know what state it left here in you know what i mean so I said, no, let's look at it together. You know, you can see what material, you can see how the, the, the hair is. And she commented, like she said, like what? Okay, so also on my waist, I should tell you guys that I have different densities, right? Now she told me that she didn't want it thick. So I gave her two choices, a 150 or a 180, and she chose a 150. Boom, bop. She said she wanted something natural looking because she wanted it for her vacation. So I was like, okay, no problem. So we sent the density and the, like how the wig looks. So she was like looking on it and whatever. So she left. So she left and before that, when, when she saw the wig, she was fine with it. That's when I cut the lace for her. So I looked on her hairline and I kind of just cut like a rough edge and I told her like, probably you're gonna need to like cut a little bit more lace off it. I just didn't want to like cut too much because I know how people are. But now that she says, okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna give you the rest of your money, whatever, whatever. So for cutting the lace, I think I charged her like, I charged her for cutting the lace for her, right? It wasn't a lot of money, but the money isn't the issue. So I'm gonna say I charged Karen probably, we're gonna give a rough estimate, probably $30. Say I charge her $30 to cut the, the lace. I really, I don't wanna tell any lie on anyone. I don't wanna tell any lie on myself. I don't remember how much I charge her, but I know I, I don't charge a lot. But, I th okay, let's say I charge her $30. I can't even remember. So, she said to me, oh hey, I don't have any cash. Let me e-transfer you. So, I'm usually not the type of person to let someone walk away because I've had like another bad experience with that. But since, girl, I was tired and I was eating, so I was like, okay, it's third dollars. I was like, okay, you transfer me. And to be honest, she's been nice to me up until then. So that's my that's my downfall. Like people being nice and civil to me until they're not. So I said to her, okay, no problem. Just you transfer it to me. All right. So say she left around seven thirty. So say she left around seven thirty and she lives 10 minutes so 20 minutes go by no money so i text her i'm like hey girl don't forget me man then she's like no don't worry i'm just stop i'm i just stopped by my friend um the friend i was telling you about so prior to this she had told me about a friend who when i was sending her the pictures like her friend was giving her a second opinion right on the pictures her friend i have to say is black now i kind of felt like her friend was african no offense to any africans there who are watching my my thing the only reason is because you can kind of know different ethnicities when they're purchasing from you like everyone every ethnicity like ethnicity every ethnic group has a certain way of purchasing things and anyone who sells can tell you this like an indian will haggle you to so so will an african but there are certain people who will haggle you to death and th there's just certain things that certain ethnic groups will do okay so 20 minutes go by no money anything like that as i was saying and she 
she started finding faults with the wig all of a sudden and every time like she would like i think one of the things was like the density and i was like but remember when we sent the video showing you the two different densities and you took like a day to respond to me because you said that like your friend wanted to like see it and stuff like that and i sent you both things you compared it and you said you wanted something natural you picked the, the less like the, the one with the less density i think the density was like really her problem so then like every time she would every time i would explain something away because obviously we had already spoken about this she would like bring up something else and it was like pissing me off but i actually just wanted my money and just i wanted her to leave me alone because this i was getting upset because if if it was a fact that she had these issues and i hadn't cut the lace before i would have actually told her to just bring back the wig and i would have sold it in like a matter of hours like my, I don't keep my wigs on hand because people really want the wigs when I have them on hand and I don't usually do, I don't usually have them on hand, right? So it usually goes faster if I have them on hand. So I was kind of pissed because I could have had a non-problematic client, right? And Mark, I've been speaking to this girl for like a couple days. It wasn't like, oh, hey, I want the wig and buy. No, it was like a hey, every day, answer, question, videos, pictures, all these things, right? Every culture has like, their own way of like haggling and purchasing stuff and sometimes mad annoying and people try to like um undersell you or like underpay you but it's it is what it is and when i see certain people i just don't answer them and i'm not being like racist or anything like that but when you know that that person isn't gonna pay you what you ask you just can't be bothered to get your feelings hurt actually like you just can't be bothered anyway so I told her, I was getting kind of upset and I just wanted my money. So I told her, come and we'll explain, you know, I'll explain so you can tell me what your problems are, whatever, whatever. So when she came, I said to her, I had no intention of getting like, like loud with this girl or anything because I wasn't even at my own house at the, at the, at the moment. So I was like, hey, um, and I'm, she, I said, tell me what, like, tell me what the problem is. And she's like, tell me the problems and stuff. And I'm like, okay, but girl, you told me this. So like, I can't. Like, I can't go in your mind and see exactly what you want, which is, that's why the pictures and the videos, that's what they're for. And which is why I told you I didn't want to cut the lace prior to you seeing the wig. Because if I cut it and then you say, oh, actually, this isn't what I thought it was, you know, that's going to be all on me because I cut it before you accepted the full purchase, right? Even though you've given me the deposit and stuff. So then she was like, um... actually no remember now oh, I was remembering something else anyway just as a little side story I was remembering something about the cultural thing one time I was selling like some serum thingies and this Asian lady like I would say I was selling like um one for like five dollars or something um, it's just an example so I, so I was saying selling one for five dollars and this lady was like can I get like two can I get like three for for six for six dollars just bad can i get like three for like six dollars and i'm like are you serious people actually okay well whatever so anyway back to what i was saying so when she came she was telling me all these things and i'm like okay girl i'm explaining everything explaining everything explaining everything and i said to her you know what i would be so willing right now to take that wig from you if i hadn't cut the lace but I, as I explained to you before I even cut the lace, that once the lace is cut, I don't give refunds. But you insisted, and I'm gonna find the messages and put it where she insisted that she, well, that's if I can find them. It was quite a long time ago. But anyway, that's not the drama. If she, ins she insisted that the lace be cut, right? So I was like, okay, no problem. Then she started getting loud and I'm like, listen to me, I'm not in my own house. I'm gonna need you to be respectful. I'm gonna need you, need you to like lower your voice. I'm gonna need you to use like your baby voice and not and like, you're, like you're talking with your chest. And it's like, it's like this little white lady. And I'm like, you're talking with your chest. Like it's it's like eight o'clock at night and you're talking with your chest. Like you, you don't need to do that. Like you're doing the most. And I'm not even shouting at you. I'm speaking just regularly to you. So like, why are you acting like that? And every time I would tell her to like lower her voice, after something it would just go right up back and I was like, can you please lower your voice, like be respectful, I'm not at my own house. And she would just go back like, I don't know, something was wrong with this lady. So I said, you know what, then, so she's leaving at this point, cause I said, I'm not giving you a refund. So she's leaving at this point. So I'm like, um, I'm not giving you a refund, but I'm gonna need you to run me my money for the lace that I cut. 
So then she's like, no, I'm not going to do that. So I'm like, you know what? That's fine. Because I'm not going to quarrel with you over the money. I'm just going to take a picture of your license plate and report you. Like, I'm I'm so, like, not in the mood for this right now. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're, I'm walk, so she walks away and I'm walking towards, not towards her, but, like, say her car is here and she's walking, like, on the grass part going that way and I just just take a straight line towards the back of the car. Not the, cause she's going to the, the, the front and she's going around to the front and I'm, I'm just going to the back of the car. So say I'm going to the back of the car and I'm, I take, I take out my phone and I'm taking pictures and she's like, what do you think, what, what do you think that's gonna do, bitch? You black bitch, what do you think that's gonna do? Oh, and girl, I lost it. Mm -mm. When she said that to me, I was like, You don't know what kind of worms you just you just opened so i was like i don't remember what i said but i said something else to her but i because of what she said it's like the the picture moved i think i actually still have that the picture moved so i didn't catch the 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 license plate like properly so i took another like i was trying to take another picture of it and then she like kind of put she like she was like getting up in my face and she kind of like pushed me oh that mm -mm. I just bopped her in her head, man. Like, I know I bopped her pretty hard. Like, I didn't slap her. I just kind of, like, palm right on the top of her head right there. And she kind of, like, staggered back. And I'm like, don't touch me. I just said something else. I was very rude, but I can't even remember how the thing I said to her. And I just walked away. So, but I walked away pretty quickly because I was not about to fight nobody in the streets. So, so I walked away and I shut the door and she said something else. And I think I heard like the, the garbage bin being kicked out there. And I was like, oh, petty, 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 but whatever. So I went in and I was telling Sky what happened. And he's like, what the hell? Like, why is she acting like that? And why did you do whatever, whatever? Like he was practically telling me like, I shouldn't have called her back or whatever, whatever. And it was kind of funny but in my head the situation was squashed then but i was still pissed because obviously i didn't get my full pay so that was like i'm not sure if that was a weekend i'm not sure but it probably was but anyway i was home i was at my like i was here um like two days after and sky because i was at sky's house sky told me that um the police came to look for me and I was like the police and he's like yeah the police came to look for you and I'm like okay well give them what did they ask you and he's like oh they just asked like if so and so lives here and whatever whatever and he just gave them my number so I'm like why would the police be looking for me like I didn't do anything that bad so I'm like I wonder what you told the police because you know how some people Karen's can be so over because if she didn't touch me I wouldn't touch her like I wasn't just gonna go up to her and just slap her right like that right like if you don't touch me I don't touch you but she didn't obviously didn't want me to take a picture of her license plate because she didn't want me to report her but anyway so a couple hours later the police called me and was like asking me like what what, what like what was happening girl ugh, and gentlemen you know what <laughs> This police said to me, the first question he said to me was like, are you so-and-so? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, did you have like an altercation with the person, like with Karen? Like, did you have an altercation with Karen on this night? And I'm like, no, I didn't have no altercation. We had a squabble where she put her hands on me. So I put my hands back on her, but it wasn't like an altercation. Like I barely, I like I barely bopped her in the head. Like it wasn't even a slap. Like I barely, it wasn't even on her face. It was like on her like forehead. Like I barely bopped her on her head. So he paused and I'm like, like, like what, like why? Like, why are you guys calling me? And he's like, oh, so um, is it true that you sold her a wig? And I'm like, yeah. And he said, oh, did she pay for the wig? And I'm like, yeah, she paid for the wig, but she didn't pay in full. And I explained the situation to him, like I just explained to, to you to you guys. And then he said, um, so you don't have the wig? And I'm like, no, I'm the only one out something right now. She got the wig, she got it cut, and she got my services, and she didn't pay in full. So he's like, hold on. Like, he literally sounded confused. Like, the, the officer was like, so you're telling me that you don't have the wig in your possession and i'm like i don't have the wig in my possession she went with the wig and everything and i said as i told you like i was just trying to take a picture of her license plate because she didn't 
um, pay me the full amount and I was gonna report her and I have pictures on my phone to prove it and thank God that my live was on like my live photos so it kind of got piece of like what like the name she was calling me to right so he's like oh well you know so and so like if you want to like he said something about if I, like, I want to come down there and like make a like a like a statement or something I'm like I'm not I'm not trying to do that like like what it's, it's not it's not even that deep it's, it really isn't that deep so then I told him like no I'm not feeling that right now um and I said to him but if if that's what she's saying and that can get me in trouble I am willing to come down there and like put my evidence forward um to show that she got also got the way because even after she left I had texted her and said like girl you just used to send me my money so we can like never see each other again because you got the bigger blah 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 right so I said like I even have text messages of her like saying yes I have the wig and all this and I'm like this girl actually went ahead and called the cops on me when she's the one who has the wig hasn't paid me my money yo some people are brazen like some people are brazen like if I knew her address, I probably would have paged her. Like, I probably would have paged her and got myself in problems. Because do you know how Karen that is? Like, even before Karen was Karen, she was Karen. I don't know, Karen in? Karen, Karen in? I don't know. She was acting like a whole Karen right now. Imagine, imagine, imagine this. You steal something from someone because it's, 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 you, you obviously stole something from me because you didn't pay for it. So you took something and you didn't pay for it, right? So imagine you steal something from someone and then you're going to report it and say that they have it. Really? Really? But anyway, after that was finished, the dude was like, we're going to call you to like, to like follow up or something like that. And, um, you know, like just be careful who you sell to. And I'm like, this isn't the first. And I told him like, I got scammed like two other times, um, which I'm going to tell you guys if you guys want to watch that. Um, those were a little bit more serious. Well, not really serious, but like a little bit more like hurt my pocket type of shit. Um, but in this instant, I was so pissed because I was like, this girl actually really took my money and then went to the cops because she's being a Karen because she's like oh I didn't get one over because she bopped me in the head so I'm gonna go run to the cops and say like oh she she did this or she did that like I'm not saying that I I'm right for bopping her in the head but she shouldn't have pushed me like that's just every action like has a reaction so your action was to, to push me because you didn't want me to take a picture of your license plate. And my action was to bop you in the head. I should have boxed you though. I should have boxed you. But you know, it's all good. But anyway, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys. I was still, I'm still so upset. Anyway, guys. That's the end of the story time. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's probably pretty long. I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry. But before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, if you want to see the other story times that I kind of have in my head when my clients were assholes to me, just say you want to see it and I will definitely try and get those up for you.